Today you've seen the shipment of the last of the Magnox depleted uranium stock from the Chapel Cross site. Um, it's been packaged up into uh, containers and sent down to Capenhurst where it will go for long term storage as part of a, um, a, a retrieval process that meets the government policy on, for that material. The material is Magnox depleted uranium, it's a by-product from reprocessing operations at Sellafield site. Um, it was stored up here in the past. Uh, Chapel Cross was part of the BNFL fleet of sites. It was a convenient place to store it. Um, over the past six years, though, we've been retrieving that uh, material, picking up the old drums, putting them into overpacked drums and dispatching them down to Capenhurst. That's the national strategy for this type of material in the UK. We started uh, actually planning late 2002, 2000, then in 2003, and we started non-active commissioning in November 2003 and into active commissioning in 2004, leading up to the first overpacks being sent down to Capenhurst in March. You know, it's been a major task, you know, we knew it was going to be a, you know, a six year project, so it's just a case of being consistent and safe for all that, that length of time. Uh, the process to overpack the drums involved the, the, the five team members in the store, uh, one in a modified forklift truck worked in the store and they went and retrieved one of the old drums and placed it in an overpack and brought it down the lay, to the lay down area behind me then it was all sealed up and monitored, then weighed for transportation and put onto a stillage. And once there was two overpacks in the stillage, the stillage was wrapped up and put through into the loading bay, awaiting for the next vehicle to arrive inside. Yeah, it's been a huge pot project for Magnox North. Um, we've overpacked 10,500 drums of Magnox depleted uranium. That equates to over 7,500 metric tonnes. Um, it's taken about 55,000 man hours worth of effort purely in the overpacking operations and about another 6,000 uh, man hours of effort driving the material from here to Capenhurst. It's about 6,000 miles we've driven on the road as well. It's, it's a huge achievement for NDA Energy Solutions and Chapel Cross site. There's a method of assessing hazard across the NDA fleet. It's a safety and environmental detriment score. This material has the sixth highest score across the whole NDA fleet and the highest in the whole Magnox fleet. So it's a major achievement to retrieve all this material, pack it up and dispatch it down to Capenhurst for long-term storage. The project's been a, a major success, success and it was mainly down to uh, a number of people and uh, the people I'd like to mention that was involved was the overpack manufacturer, Diva. Uh, the transport was from a uranium asset management at Springfields and also they had a very close working relationship with Capenhurst to receive the drums and it's, it's been a, a real major success. I think the biggest success is, is delivering on time, you know, achieving all the targets and doing it safely really. So another success of this project has been the safety performance both radiological and conventional safety. We've had no lost time accidents and the, those issues have been minimal. This job's had to have different site licence companies working together. Um, the cooperation has been really great between us and the Sellafield site licence company. The key to that is just keeping the communication routes open at all times. If there's any issues at either end, as, as we discuss them very early and make sure we resolve them um, in a way that suits us both. The next phase of this project is to clean out the building. As you can see behind us, there's a number of items still remaining. This, these items will be cleared from the building and the building will be demolished at a later date. You'll see from the shots into the building that there's actually quite a bit of work still to do to take apart all the equipment that we've been using to retrieve all these drums. Although the depleted uranium inventory is now gone, we've got to tidy the building up, make sure it's, it's clean, and there may be potential future uses for this building, potentially storage of materials for short term. And ultimately, the whole building will be decommissioned and demolished in line with the, the policy for this site. This is a major milestone for the Chapel Cross site and as a member of the Chapel Cross site stakeholder group and a local councillor, this is, this is a really good event. Um, we've actually managed to actually clear a major hazard from the site, 10,500 drums over the last six years, the last one's left today. So, you know, Chapel Cross worked safely with the community when it was producing the electricity and it's also doing so when it's actually decommissioning the site. For the NDA, it marks the, the completion of a, uh, a six-year project to uh, remove what is for, for the NDA a very major uh, hazard uh, in the context of all of our sites. And for that reason, it's, it is a major milestone in hazard reduction that, uh, for which we congratulate the, uh, the project team. Today has been quite an emotional day for myself because also I was part of this project at uh, the kick-off in 2002-2003. Uh, I was uh, instrumental in getting this facility up and running 
I selected the team members. Uh, another success was the team members all come from different backgrounds. They weren't based at Chapel Cross. So it's a big thank you to these guys, really. They've made it a success. I'd like to say a, a really big thank you to all the, the guys that have been involved on site, all the staff at Chapel Cross and all the support staff from other SLCs and the supply chain that have really worked hard together to make this project a major success. It's a major achievement for the Chapel Cross site. It's really great to see that hazard fully retrieved from site and, and dispatched. It's a big step forward in the decommissioning of Chapel Cross site.